Not in the studio, but we're out at New Lothrop. It took me about a half hour to find this place because I was looking for old Lothrop. <laughs> That's a terrible joke, but I do this all the time. Okay. We are at New Lothrop this morning. Oh, what a great day out here. There's about 40 million kids. And they're all involved in something called uh, mind, uh, Odyssey of the Mind, Odyssey of the Mind. Many of you have probably heard about it. And of course, some of our kids from International Academy are here as well. And uh, we are, they're presenting and they're involved in competition. And we're going to bring in some of the leadership of Odyssey of the Mind. And uh, we're going to bring in Rosie Johnson. Jamie so Jamie Joe Sanderson. And we're just gonna give it we're all this is your microphone. The camera will have to step a little closer okay. because the camera has its own microphone. Okay. Folks, I explained a little bit about what's happening, but please one of you uh, kind of address what this uh, and we're in region five, I know that much. So one of you kind of take it from there and explain to our audience what's happening out here in New Lothra. Honestly the mine is a uh, creativity problem solving where kids participate they can choose a problem that they want to solve and they're given the problem back in October November and they can choose one of the five problems that which, they which are you create the problems then? Um, the problems are from an international um, in New Jersey that's created from Sam Sammy Dr. Sam and then they're distributed you can purchase them and teams from all over the world um, are solving the problems. So then you purchase them and the schools here today are solving the problem. And there's five different problems. So problem one is a vehicle problem. Problem two is an engineering problem. Problem three is a classic problem. Problem four is a balsa wood where they're building a structure. And problem five is another drama where it's, it's more humorous. I had a beautiful problem on the way out here. Do I count? No. <laughs> Probably not. Okay. No. <laughs> Ms. Johnson, now you heard good Jamie Joe here with that good explanation. Is there something you can add about the, where the competition goes from here, for example? The kids are here today. We can play against other teachers. After we get the first, second, and they go on to state and then they also perform from other teams that's out of from Michigan. If they win the states, then they go to world. And this year we're lucky we're having the world finals at Michigan State University. If we get a world winner, I'm going to be there. I'm just guaranteeing guarantee you promise it. promise you'll be there. Folks, this is great. Uh, this competition, as you can tell, is really all over the, the whole United States. States are participating in different ways, of course. And our own kids from the International Academy are participating. I failed to, to see them perform over the countries because I was trying to kind of get organized here. But, uh, and then our other kids got to go to the park this afternoon, I told so. Uh, parents, this is exciting. Uh, there's a number of Flint schools here as well. Everybody that participates in uh, Youth Quest should be here. So that's about 15 schools in the county. Uh, of course, our main concern actually. So, but whenever kids are involved, it's just a very good thing. Now, uh, the judges, uh, they're selected by you folks naturally, I suppose. What is the process? Um, actually, we ask our teams to provide us with two judges. So it can be parents, grandparents, um, teachers anyone that they can get to come and judge for us and then we train them. They come one Saturday and our town captains train them. And of course they can't judge their own school. Correct. That's, That's correct. Ms. Johnson, how long have you been doing this? About 20 years. You're a pro. I, I, I started this when my niece and nephew was doing it for Corona Schools, okay. taking their props, and then it went from taking props to being a director. So. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, you've always lived in the Genesee County area, probably. Actually, I live in Shawnee County. Okay. Yeah. Well, you crossed the yep. border, but that's okay. That's You're still okay. I'm still doing <laughs> Are you locally as well? Yes, I live in Shiawassee County. Oh, another one. Yeah. <laughs> Any Shiawassee teams competing? Oh, yes. Okay, oh. it's illegal then. <laughs> Or she were to complain. Hi, Paul. We got some other people going to talk with us. Okay. Well, hey, hey, what you doing down there? You got a low profile. Somebody's trying to sneak through. It's bad hair day for her, so she wanted to be off the street. No, baby, that's not it. Hey, Johnson, that's not it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Good luck, you guys, and get right in there. Come on in, girl. I don't even know who you are. Come on, tell us who you are and what you're doing here, girl. My name is Susie. 
and I'm judging spontaneous. Come on, step a little closer so we get you in the camera. Huh? I'm in the camera. Okay. Yeah, you'll be on channel 17, Comcast. Okay, I have that. Do you? Okay, uh -huh. you'll, you have to check for International Academy of Flint program, oh. IAF, and then that's you'll be on in a couple of weeks, I think, they'll oh. show you. Okay, now tell us again who you are. I'm so sorry, I was distracted. You're a judge of what, middle school or elementary? Elementary, I'm judging elementary spontaneous, and um, I work at more elementary in my office. Okay, what does spontaneous mean? Um, it's just on the spot, they can't prepare, they do different things to um, kind of get them ready for the problem, but they don't know what the problem is when they come in the room. Okay. It's just kind of, we give them the problem there and they have to work together so, to solve it. Okay, so they have to react immediately. Okay, all right, very good. And you're from Mount, you work at what school again? More elementary, Mount Moore. Okay, oh sure, we've heard of that. Actually. Yeah. Well, thank you. You're going to be famous, girl. <laughs> what, have you judged already? I, I'm actually on my way back to judge. Okay, very good. Thank you for stopping thank you. in. Sir, did you want to join us on radio sure. and TV? Come on. How you doing, buddy? Hi. I've never seen you in my life. Never. <laughs> once. Now, here's the camera. Let's step oh, over go. here. I'm not trying to hug you, buddy. Yeah, yeah, I'm hugging you. I want to, want to get you involved. <laughs> Just, sir, I know you're here with the, with the program, or if you work at a right. school. Just tell folks who you are and what your role is here today. Well, my name is Perry Stratton. I'm a parent of one of the children oh, that are performing Super. today, and it's been a huge commitment for her. Uh, you know, they, they have practices. They've been doing them two days a week for What school, sir? Perry Center in Grand Blanc. Oh, sure, yep. sure, sure. We have Grand we have Grand Blank friends. Oh yeah, we sure do. <laughs> okay, right. uh, are you allowed to say what the the, pro, the project is she's on? Or? They're doing the they're doing the wood tumbling project where it has to roll down a ramp and still maintain and not break. And then they have to stack weight on it. And I guess the world record weight is fourteen hundred pounds. What? And, yeah, fourteen hundred pounds. It's just made out of balsa wood. A 1,400-pound balsa wood. That must be as big as a football field. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing amount of weight. Okay. Has your right. child been in that this they're, program they're, year be, last no, year as well? No, she wasn't. No, first year this only. is her first okay. year. And you must live in Grand Blanc? Yes. Now? Okay. Well, welcome to New Lothrop. Okay. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you for your time, yeah, sir. You I appreciate you being on the air. No Thank you very Thank kindly. You. Hey, do I have two other folks who would like to join us? They're eating right now. Mom's snacking. Come on over, Mom. We're live radio and TV. And bring that little peanut with you. She is so cute. Mom ain't that bad looking either, okay? <laughs> now, you're going to have to step close to me. I'm sorry to tell you that, okay, because that's the camera. This this is the microphone for the radio that uh, we have to step close to the camera so that the camera can pick up its own uh, radio as well. Okay, where are you from and your name? And introduce your daughter and tell us what you're doing here today, if you don't mind. Okay, my name is Leticia Hill. I'm from Flint, Michigan. My daughter here is Rena Hill, and she's from Flint, Michigan. She goes to International Academy. Uh, I thought I looked, looked a little familiar. Hi, Mom. How are you? I'm good. Okay. Um, I'm here to, I saw the play that she wrote. She actually wrote this song. Um, I didn't know that. Yeah, and they acted out, so I'm, I was here in support of oh, her. Gosh. Oh, my God, girlfriend, you wrote that? I'm so proud of you. You want to talk on the, on the radio and TV right now? She's shaking her head. No, please tell us your name and what grade you're in and all that, please. You're a playwright. <laughs> yes, you are. At the age of nine, that's wonderful. Okay. Well, mom, uh, have you been involved? You've been the kids this year are the first time they're in the uh, the uh, after school youth class program. Right. Did you know anything about Odyssey the Mind before today? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay. And I well, think it's a wonderful program. Okay. Really nice. I know, because they've been practicing down in, in the area that I'm, my office is in, so yeah. there's a lot of commotion out there all the time, and that's a good thing. It's always good to have good commo positive commotion. Girl, I'm so proud of you writing that. You're trying to snack. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for coming out on the air. We appreciate you. And Mom, bless you as well. Bless you, too. Thank you. all the way out here. Oh, no problem. Okay, you're, you're my new star. Thank you very kindly. All right, thanks a lot. Yeah, city school. school. Is that Grand time. Blank? Yeah, these guys are just... Is that Grand Blank City? Okay, give me a leader. Give me a leader. Okay, oh, nine liters. Okay, hi, sweetheart. How are you? You're going to be live on the radio and okay. being taped for Channel 17 Comcast okay. right now. Have you guys performed already? Yes. Okay. We did. But let's have, uh, tell me. Can you tell me the name of your presentation? Is that okay? Architecture. Okay. And uh, what what was the purpose of it? Well, we had to have a building that was built in 1000 to 16,000 AD. And then we had to pick three works of art and just make a program based off of those. 
Okay. Uh, I, I'm not supposed to ask too many questions about the project, I guess, because it's uh, kind of secret to <laughs> get into further competition. But give a few of us your names, okay? I can't do everybody. Go ahead, tell us your name, Mark. I'm Isabella Buck. Okay. I'm Gracie Warda. Okay. I'm Victoria Clever. Okay. I'm Micah Johnson. Are we getting them on the camera here too? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, hon. I'm Charlotte Simon. Okay. The only guy in I'm town. I'm Andrew Jacobs. Hi, Jacobs. How you doing, buddy? Oh, I got you. Hi, buddy. Who are you? I'm Ryan Pierce. Okay. Wow. Team of one, two, three, four, about 12. Ten, <laughs> seven, six, whatever seven. the number is. Whose dad is that, by the way? Oh, she, she took off, okay, yeah. she went there, because I've already had him on the radio. Okay, you presented already? Mm -hmm. How'd the audience react? Pretty good? Yeah. yeah oh, excuse me. <laughs> she took my phone. Yeah. <laughs> Paul, can we go on her for a minute? She's yeah, going to yeah. talk. Okay. okay, go ahead, talk. Go ahead, sweetie. Um, when I went on, um, I was funny and everybody was like giggling. Yeah, it was funny. I was like, um, <laughs> <laughs> they're like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe you're funny looking. Maybe that's what they were. Ah! <laughs> Not at all. Thing. Way to go. We had a little fun with you today. Well, thank you, kids. Good luck, City School. Thank Take care you. of yourself. Okay, right on Grand Blank. Go, Bull. Go. What's your logo? You're the what? Bobcats. The Bobcats? Oh, someone of your big team is a Bobcat. The varsity is too. Okay. We've got right, one more from City School. Come on, this is a middle school kid. Joey Unless he's a, he's a very tall, he's a very tall third grader. I'm telling you. Okay. Tell us who we are, sir. Uh, Joey Baffert. Joey, what what are you doing there? Are you with the little guys, or are you in the middle school program, or are you a leader? You're a leader. I am a very tall third grader. Uh, I was the star of the show, and they all gave me really good compliments. So I no, I'm, oh, I think you're fibbing, but we'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. We'll go. No, I'm the assistant coach to the team. Okay. Very good. Uh, did they do as was expected, better than expected, or what, what do you think? It was a train wreck. I don't know what this <laughs> So city school fell off the map today, huh? <laughs> They did not just fall off the map, they obliterated the map. They did so good, they made me the proudest coach any coach could ever be. They pulled it together. All right. Oh, it's huggy time. Oh my gosh. Okay. Hi, hi adults. Any adults want to talk? You guys okay? They're running away from the camera. Okay. Well, thank you. Good luck, City. Nice thank to talk you. with you guys. Thank you. High fives for almost everybody. Oh, you guys are okay. Well, I'm on my own here now, Abby. So, yes. Paul is on trying to find somebody to talk to. And I'll look right in the camera. Hey, camera. Um, as you know, International Academy, fine school, as you, I think, know by now. We are, of course, uh, have open enrollment right now. We're involved in Project Return, and already there's over 90% of our kids are going to come back. And uh, we're going to put it, we have a, Paul recruited a young man here shortly, but if you have any questions about our school, 605,000, and I do building tours, and I love to do that. I'd love to show you what we got and how we do it. 605,000, please call. But do, can you wait till Monday? Can you wait till Monday? And then we'll be glad to take you on a tour. Paul Herring, you're doing a great job getting guests for us. And this young man is going to make his way over. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Come on over. All right. How you doing? Good. Fine. Thank you. This is uh, the, this is live radio. You're being videotaped for Channel 17. Okay. So uh, kind of step in view of, of the camera here. And I'll give you the phone right now and ask you, uh, uh, tell us uh, name and school that you're with and helping with through Youth Quest. And then talk for a little bit about uh, what the project is that your kids are involved in, sir. Well, hello, my name is Roger Richardson. I am the coach at Ronell Elementary School, uh, Team 40930, and we perform in Architectural the Musical, which was an architectural piece where they went back in time to perform a particular thing using famous architectural structures. We use the Lena Tower of Pisa. Pizza. Okay. So we use the Lena Tower of Pisa. Um, the, the kids for the last maybe six or seven months, they worked real diligent and real hard in order to make that happen. Have you, any, you have no idea about the result of the competition yet because I think that's going to occur later this afternoon. But if they win here, tell us a little bit about the next step. Do you know that processor? If the students or the teams win, the next step will be they will be going to Traverse City 
um, in April, I'm not particular on the date, but in April they'll be going to Traverse City to perform in the state competition against um, others from around the state. This is just one of the regions, one of the Odyssey of the Mind regions here. Okay. All right, you did good. Thank you kindly. Good luck to your kids, of course. Thank you. And uh, is Mr. Whitehead still your principal over there? Uh, no, the principal at Brownell Elementary is... Oh, Brownell. Yes. Oh, I thought you said Bryant. Excuse oh, me. No. Yeah. Oh, no. I know he is still the principal over at Bryant. Is that Mr. Brown Wright? Is this is James. This is oh, okay. James. Very good. Would you give her my best? I think she knows me. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the air, sir. Well, audience, we're having a, a quite a time here. Um, we're a little short on interviewees at the moment, but I'll have to fill some air time for you. Uh, there is a bunch of kids here. Of course, I told you it was about 15 million. They're a couple shy of that. But um, there's 15 schools here that I'm aware of, and the rest of them, uh, there could be others that, that I'm not aware of, of course. The competition is keen. These kids are dressed up in all kind of costumes, and uh, depending upon, of course, what they're what they're doing. And our own kids, uh, unfortunately, I thought we could get more of our own kids. We only had one on so far, but as you can tell, this is fully, uh, a really a very busy program. And if they can stumble on down here, they put us down in a quiet hallway so that we wouldn't interfere with some of the presentations. We've always recruited somebody. Hey, somebody, come on right over. Is this your son, sir? Uh, yes. Very good. Okay, we found Paul's been out recruiting. So we're going to put this gentleman on the air right now, and you're going to tell us, sir, this is, the, this is live radio. You're being videotaped for Channel 17. Okay, so let me ask you your name and tell us about what school you're associated with. It's probably your son. Is that accurate? Okay, and then we'll put him on the air a little bit, too. So tell us what's going on here, sir. I do have a name, Michael Johnson. I um, have a OM thing going on here. Kids are performing a lot of uh, cool and, and, and unique uh, scenes for OM. And, uh, very, Come on, step nice. in, buddy. Come on, get the camera. Good, good, good. That's it. Okay. And what school are you with, young man? City school? So, oh, you're Grand Blank as well, City yes. School. Yeah, we just had the rest of those kids on here. Okay. You're doing something with architecture, I think. Yes. Leaning. No, you weren't the leading tower of pizza. That was Mount no, Morris. Okay, okay, great. You were the Mario and the, uh, you were the Mario team, but the same in the uh, progressive insurance. All right. I, okay, okay. What, what, tell us what you did in that presentation, buddy. Look at the camera if you don't mind. You're a handsome young man. Talk about the, the, the progressive insurance. Um, they, they, uh, Okay, what did you exactly do? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Watchers are important. Okay. <laughs> I wear one. <laughs> Not really. Okay. Well, thank you for your time. Appreciate you coming on. Good guy, take care of yourself. Okay, go city school, right? All right, go city school. <laughs> Very good. Paul, thank you. Yeah, they're looking for the woman from the Chamber of Commerce, try oh, to get her to nice. come over yeah, and talk to you. But I'm willing to banter with okay, you for well, a little while, you know. Right, let the program take a severe dip here. We're going to put on Paul here. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, we'll get away a little bit from this project, and you've got something coming up here shortly. You always do, so chat for a moment, okay? I certainly will. Actually, we're getting excited about this year's uh, Juneteenth celebration. Look at you. You want the camera? You want me to get the camera, okay, you know you the camera, me to get the camera yeah. too? Yeah. Well, I can do that. And uh, um, actually, we are um, Utah. Planning. I'm going to go look. You're going to look. Yeah, so you want ahead. me to just You're radio on show. highlight that? I've got a radio show now. The Paul Herring Show. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, listen, Juneteenth is coming up uh, June 19th here in the city. We're going to start on June 16th with the uh, Youth Freedom Fund there at the uh, G Card Center. Um, always a wonderful turnout. Uh, Speaker is unknown to me thus far, but I'm sure it'll be a no. wonderful youth in our community. Then we're definitely going to host the parade on June 19th. Uh oh, it looks like Art is back. I'm going to come back more, with more about June 19th, but let me let Art be with you guys. Audience, I'm not responsible for what that man said. <laughs> come on in, sweetie. We're putting you on the radio and TV. Okay, that's the camera. Come on, see yourself. Okay, this is live radio. Come on in, hon. Over here, no. Sydney. Sweetie, come on, step in front of the camera. You're too pretty to hide. Okay, now you guys already presented, right? Okay, now tell us who you are, young folks. Tell us who you are. Sydney Ellis. Okay, and? Melanie Okay, and you go to what school? Is that right? I've heard of that place. Oh, wow. 
Wow, good, good, good. Now tell us what you've done. This is again live radio and you're being videotaped right now for, for TV. So tell us uh, what you already presented. I know you did. So tell us what you, what the skit was about. Somebody. It was about, uh, it was about a baby bird going to a, football, a high school football game and meeting. Kind of look at the camera. Right? Well, it was a human raised by birds going to going to a football game and uh, and. And the person at the football game tried to make new friends by uh, by being truthful and telling them what they were about. Okay. And she tried and she tried to offer somebody a friend, but they they didn't like the offer. So she went to so she went to another person, and she found out that another person was a human raised by dogs. And so the dog uh, the dog asked if she could get worms, so I made it. To her. Okay. And then we went back to our to the bird's nest and we had worms. Oh, okay. Uh, hope you're not eating anywhere, anybody. <laughs> that could be a little discouraging as far as the eating of the worms and everything. And what did you do in that? Well, you were in the skit run, right? Tell us exactly what you did. Well, I, I didn't do much, but I was saying to mom and she makes did you have a great big beak on yesterday? Was that you that had the big beak on? Okay, so what did you do with your big beak today? Did you have a big old long, long yellow beak yesterday? Yeah. Okay, what, how did that happen? What, what happened today with the long beak? You just wore it, right? Okay, all right, very good. And of course, we don't know how well you did. We'll find that out at about 4 o'clock today. It's going to be later in the afternoon. It might be three, but it's going to be a little bit later. So thank you, young folks. Okay, we'll we'll talk to you later. Thank you very kindly. Okay. I thought we had to uh, you know, talk. I'm going to walk away from the camera. Okay. Uh, so I don't know if we'll follow them.
Michigan, born and raised, rehabbing the hood, and I'm proud of it. This is Gary Jones coming to you live from downtown Flint, and I'm made in Flint and proud of it. My name is John Wood. I'm made in Flint and proud of it. I'm Laura Paddock. I'm making it in Flint and proud of it. I'm Molly Paddock. I'm born in Flint. I'm making it in Flint. I'm staying in Flint, and I am proud hey, of it. Hey, Dwayne Younger, chilling out down here at the Bucket Valley Fest. Made in Flint and proud of it. Herman Marable, creator of Student of the Month, and I'm making Flint and proud of it. Made in Flint and proud of it. Made in Flint and proud of it. Made in Flint and proud of it. Hi, my name is Shandrika Moore, and I go to Evangelist and Temple Church. Made in Flint and proud of it. This. You know what I think? This. I think you forgot to lock your door. This. People do that. They forget. That's too bad because all crime needs. Don't give this, it the chance. It's my job this, to this, teach you to this, protect yourselves. This, Make it your job to learn. The box. Got it working. I got it working. Hey, look at that. Jim, get the net. Not real, they're fakes. What? Fakes. They're decoys. Fucks can't do that. Refreshingly smooth Bud Light. Always worth it. Everyone is entitled to the due process of law. The dignity of every human being should go unquestioned in civilized society. Justice fosters economic growth and countries cannot develop properly if they do not have a fair system. The judiciary must be the guardian of equal treatment for everyone. The poor are the ones most at risk when legal systems fail. Our dream is justice for all. Our dream is a world free of poverty. If there be time to expose through discussion the falsehoods and the fallacies, the remedy to be applied is more speech, not enforced silence. Public, educational, and governmental access television is such a remedy, providing every community with a forum for free expression. PEG Access empowers every voice to be heard. It's the freedom to communicate, and it's only on cable.